Well, hi everybody, I'm Joe, and uh, on this video we are reviewing a Harley Benton electric violin. And it, it's all electric, you can see it doesn't have a, a body on it or anything like that, it's got a neck. It's, uh, we, I've reviewed Harley Benton violins before, but this one is all electric, and the neck is pretty close to the same as on their other violins. Got your standard tuning pegs, fine tuners, but instead of a body, it has this plastic surround piece, and it's just a basic plank of wood here. So, all the sound comes from the, uh, the pickup. You can see it has an active pickup. It has a volume, three band EQ, headphone uh, jack, it has your instrument jack so you can plug it into an amplifier or I have it going right into my interface, and it has a microphone jack, not sure uh, what that's for, and you can see it has a chin rest that's fitted to this model. Uh, these cost uh, about $110, roughly. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below there. They sell through Toman, so, you know, there's shipping on that. But uh, overall, I'd say that's a pretty good value uh, for the money, especially since, I mean, this is a violin that you can practice without making a lot of noise. If you want to practice at night or you don't want to wake people up, it has a headphone jack, and it comes with a pair of headphones. I can show you here. It comes with a... a cheap pair of, you know, just basic headphones, and it comes with, there we go, I'll bring this up, it comes with a case, uh, pretty nice one, it's a decent case, you can see it's got a zipper pocket in the front, it's a really decent hard case, you know, there we go, uh, it comes with rosin, and a bow, and an instrument cable, so it's pretty much everything you need, and, uh, you know, for like 110 bucks. That ain't bad at all. I, I, uh, I've been playing around with it a little bit. And we're gonna see what kind of sounds we can get out of it. Uh, let me get my headphones, because this thing does not make sound on its own. I gotta hear what I'm doing, don't I? Let's start with, now, I'm gonna keep everything, the uh, three band EQ on here. I'm gonna keep that set, all of them to the middle position, so we just, we just get uh, just a straight tone out of it. Nothing changes on the violin's part. And let's see what, there we go, what a clean tone on this sounds like. I'm not the best fiddle player, but, you know, I'd say that sounds, sounds pretty decent. Now that is a clean tone. Let's see how this sounds. There we go. Let's see how this sounds through an amp setting, just a clean amp. Like, give you an idea, if you run it through an amp, That's my my uh, poor attempt at some fiddling. Let's see. Let's change this out. There we go. Let's try something with some distortion. What does this sound like? Because obviously an electric violin, you know, you wanna you wanna rock on it. Let's see what it sounds like here. Okay, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I kind of like that. That's, uh, that's some... Yeah! 
that's pretty cool. It's got some sustain. Keeps going there. Alrighty. How about here's what uh here's what obviously when you get something like this you want to see. There we go. Let's go with something just a touch more extreme. Let's let's go to yeah, something heavy metal like. Sounds kind of cool. Sounds like that uh, kind of neat. Yeah, yeah, a little bit extreme there. That's kind of cool. That's a little bit of fiddling around. Let's, uh, there we go. There we go. So, I mean, you know, the Harley Benton electric violin, I'd say, uh, yeah, yeah, about 110 bucks, and you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. I like the extreme sounds there, man. I don't know if I'd, uh, if I'd want to play it the same way I do clean. I'd have to play around with it a little bit to see what kind of cool sounds it would make, but I think anybody with even a, a little bit of a little bit of abilities with the violin, maybe a little bit more ability than I have, should be able to figure out some really cool things to do with this. So yeah, this is a really, really kind of cool alternative to a, a standard violin, especially, let's say, you, you know, you're just learning and, and you don't want everybody to hear you suck, because, you know, we all, all of us suck when we start out. Everybody does. Let's not pretend. Uh, man, you can plug headphones into it. You can get good before anybody knows that you weren't. Or if you have a kid and you don't want to hear them play all day, all night, you know how it is, man. You want your kid to learn, you want them to practice. This is definitely a good a good beginner's violin for somebody like that. Because, man, headphones. You can plug it into headphones, you can learn what you're doing. It's got a good feel to it. It feels like a good, you know, standard fiddle. But without having to, uh, to keep people up or to make people listen to you. So, you know, there's that. Uh, I would definitely say this is a good fiddle to play live because you can plug it into an amp. It's a good fiddle for recording in the studio. That's kind of what I got it for because it yeah, I can plug it directly into my interface and uh, get a good clean signal. It really is kind of a, there we go, kind of a fun instrument. And if you want something different, this is definitely different. They have other colors. Uh, like I said, I'll put a link below. You can look it up. You can check out what all they have. They have uh, other electric violins at other price points, too. So, you know, give it a look-see, especially if, if you want something want something just cool. I mean, hey, it's an electric fiddle. Uh, Quality-wise, I would say that if you want a really, really good quality instrument, this isn't it. Because, the I mean, it's good enough. But for, like, a seasoned professional, somebody that wants something that's very high quality, that this probably wouldn't be the choice for them, but for the rest of us. For the rest of us that want something that's affordable and, I mean, well good enough. This is a good enough instrument and doesn't cost a lot of money. Usually, I mean, even beginner violins a lot of times are $400 and up, and this thing's 110 bucks. I mean, that comes out to, even with the shipping, like uh, $140, $145 with their shipping. So... I mean, you know, that is a pretty good deal. And it comes it even comes with a hard case and a bow and rosin and everything you need to play, headphones and all that. So, hey man, I'd say give it a look see, especially if you want to get into playing the violin or if you're a violinist that wants uh wants kind of like a fun instrument they can they can get different sounds out of. Uh enjoy, man. Check it out and uh hey, hope you like this. If you did, man, hit subscribe, hit like. Hey, peace out, man. Love you guys. See y'all in the next video. Hey, bye-bye, man.